Today I'm going to run through the Shimano DI2 configuration to set up the secret buttons on the hoods to remotely control my Garmin bike computer. The group set I'm configuring today is what's on my giant TCR bike. So it's the Shimano Altegra DI2 group set. It's the R8070 and it's with the wireless module installed, which was one of the first upgrades that I did when I got the bike. I will link below to my video on that of how I installed that wireless unit in line. Shimano DI2 group sets with the wireless module installed, aka the D-Fly unit. It has a few different names and there's a few different modules you can get, which all pretty much do the same thing. It allows you to configure and program your group set via Bluetooth from the mobile app. It allows you to update the firmware again via the mobile app, but be very careful when doing that. Proceed with caution. And with the wireless module installed on your DI2 system, it will then talk Ant Plus. So you compare your head unit to it, get battery level information, it will show gearing information, it will log gearing information, and you've got access now to the DFly channels. The DFly channels can be configured one through four. So you can have four buttons or switches on your DI2 system set up as DFly channels. And each DFly button or switch can be set up to perform three different functions. So you've got press, you've got double press, and you've got press and hold. And once those channels are configured on the bike, you then set up what they do on these head units. Let's run through that now. Loading up the eTube app here on my iPhone. Waiting for it to connect. I need to put the DI2 Bluetooth in connection mode for it to show up. There we go, we connect through to it. And away we go, straight to customize, switching unit. We'll start with the left lever first. And you can see there the rear shift down is what my current A switch is set to. So we're just going to set that to DFly channel one. You can see there configuration now saved. DFly channel one for switch A on lever left, lever right. We'll do the same thing, but we'll change that over to DFly channel two. Clicking thumbs up on that, clicking OK. And the only thing we need to remember to do is to switch off the Bluetooth connection. So we just disconnect Bluetooth LE and we're done. It's really as easy as that. So once this is configured, it then pops up and recognizes that we now have some channels to configure. We hit OK on that. It takes us straight to the configuration page. You can get to the device configuration for DI2 to set these within your normal sensors profiles, but it's just popped up here. So this is what we're gonna use. Okay, now we've got left and right lever. And there are our three options to choose, single press, double press, and press and hold. I'm just gonna scroll through a few things here. Now this is the Edge 830. I'm just still getting used to the touch screen. It's quite sensitive and quite responsive. So accidentally setting a few things here. You can see there, there are the options to set for our button press functions. And this is just for the left A switch at the moment. So what I'm gonna set up here is single press on the left is gonna be next page and press and hold will be previous page. So we can scroll left and right just with the left button. And for the third action, let's go with uh, screen backlight on. Whoop, hang on. I might need to turn down the sensitivity on the screen here, but screen backlight on, there we go, backlight on, there we go. Okay, so that's left configured. Over to the right configuration, let's have a look at what we can do here. We'll go lap, we'll do a few other things, we'll go. And again, you can configure this however you like. This is just me playing around with this. Show compass. Well, if I had Ant Plus connected lights, we could do a few things there. Lights on or off or light mode. None of those on the bike at this point. So we'll go back and just assign this. Uh, we'll go virtual partner, but I don't have that screen enabled, so I'm keen to see how that actually works. Okay, time to test this out on the left A switch. Single press is next page. Press and hold is previous page. Scrolling to and fro on that, that works. And my double tap is to turn the backlight on, but the backlight is already on. So not a good test there. 
Okay, over to the right hand side, let me hit go. Single press is lap. There we go, lap. Now double press is virtual partner, which I don't have enabled as a page, so you can just see it not doing much there. Single press lap. And then once we do hit lap, we can scroll screens with the other button, check out our lap summary, scroll back to our main screen, and away we go. That's working as expected. Okay, and our backlight is off and backlight is on, so that does work as well. All right, basic config done. Happy days. So there we are, remote wireless control of my Garmin Edge units. Pretty cool stuff, especially if you've got a non-touchscreen device such as a 520 or a 530, or if you're wearing gloves on a winter's day and that touchscreen gets a little bit, well, a bit dodgy through your gloves. Super cool stuff. Okay, if you found this one informative, please hit like, please hit subscribe to support this channel. It's much appreciated. We'll see you soon.